Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Spider-Man No Way Home video. And today, we're going to be talking about the post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home and what it potentially sets up for the future of this franchise. So of course it goes without saying, spoilers ahead, major spoilers ahead. But if you've seen Spider-Man No Way Home and you loved it just as much as I did, well then scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement, share your hype with me. Also reminding you guys that I'm sponsored by G Fuel. The Spider-Man No Way Home G Fuel is available right now and you can get your hands on shaker cups like this one or in general, just the radioactive lemonade flavor head to the link in the description box below get yourself some spider-man no way home g fuel and use code caboose at checkout and with that being said let's jump into this okay so that post credit scene for some people might have really pissed them off but for people like myself got me extremely excited for where this franchise is going to be going next of course it has tom hardy's venom he's in a bar he's talking to some dude about just the events of the mcu he's talking about thanos he's talking about iron man and all that stuff and then due to the spell that was cast by dr strange at the end of the movie venom tom hardy's venom gets sent back to his universe and a lot of people in the theater at least when i watched it the second time we're like, wait, what? No, seriously, that's what's happening here? But the stinger is actually that a piece of the symbiote gets left behind in this universe, and it's obviously going to be setting up the black-suited Spider-Man storyline from the comic books and oh my goodness am i so excited for that and i'll tell you why i'm particularly happy about them doing this with the post credit scene because when i saw that they did the venom let there be carnage post credit scene and having venom enter the mcu part of me was hyped for the concept that we were going to see venom go up against spider-man but i also really wanted to see that symbiote suit that storyline really have its time to breathe and that's exactly what marvel is doing here having this symbiote be left behind when tom hardy's venom gets sent back to his universe we already know for sure that a new spider-man movie is in development i mean it just came out that the film has made like 587 million dollars worldwide for its opening weekend which is insane clearly this movie is going to make a ton of money and kevin feige has kind of rest assured for all the fans that him and sony marvel studios and sony are going to be working together again on this fourth Spider-Man movie. And per Amy Pascal's previous comments, it looks like they're gonna be working on a whole new trilogy with Spider-Man in college, and this black suit storyline can have so much time to be fleshed out and told over multiple movies before we lead up to a fight between Spider-Man and Venom. So what exactly could be next? What is the next evolution or what is the next storyline that they could tell for Tom Holland's Spider-Man? And well, I think it's actually kind of obvious. Right now, very recently, at least this year, I believe, it was announced that Aaron Taylor Johnson, who you might remember as Quicksilver in the MCU, has been cast as Kraven for Sony's Kraven the Hunter film. And well, per reports and in certain interviews that were done with Tom Holland for Spider-Man No Way Home, he mentioned that a backup plan for Spider-Man No Way Home, had they not been able to do the multiverse concept that they wanted to, was going to be a Kraven the Hunter storyline with Spider-Man facing off against Kraven. That was like a... For a long time, there was a Craven movie that was going to be the third movie because things weren't working out and all sorts of different stuff. And John pitched me this Craven movie, which actually was really cool. Mm. I, I don't want to talk about it in case that, that movie ends up happening down the line, but it was fun. So it seems like, considering that Sony's making a Craven movie, considering that Spider Man's going to get that black suit, that they may be setting up a live action Craven's Last Hunt storyline. And oh my goodness, that would be so exciting to see on film the craven movie is set to come out in january of 2023 and well if the next spider-man movie has the same two-year turnaround from far from home to no way home then we may see spider-man 4 come out in that same year so the craven film could set up and lead right into spider-man 4 in that fight between craven and spider-man then where do they go from there well i think everyone is assuming that ned and mj are essentially being written out of the storyline or out of peter's life that may introduce now new supporting characters we might see harry oz born brought into the universe we might even see gwen stacy brought into the universe so that peter has a supporting cast continuing into this next trilogy and while given morbius and seeing that vulture is in that movie and considering sony's track record and what we have seen from them in the past they clearly are dying to do a sinister six movie so i feel like that's where we are headed potentially long term or long term is going to be spider-man versus venom they have so many options here but the number one thing based on that post credit scene 
from Spider-Man No Way Home is that they clearly want to tell the black suit, the symbiote suit storyline from the comic books for Spider-Man. And I couldn't be more excited for them to give that time to breathe, for them to potentially even do a whole movie about him getting the symbiote, being corrupted by it, and not even getting rid of it in that same movie. They could carry this out for the whole trilogy if they wanted to, which would be very interesting. The future's very bright for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. And I know he's kind of said like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna come back. I don't know if I should be playing Spider-Man in my 30s. That's just a negotiation tactic. His contract's up with Marvel and he wants to make it seem uncertain so that they're gonna give him a dump truck's worth of money for him to come back. I mean, Tom Holland's a smart guy. His agent's a smart guy. This is what we've seen actors like Robert Downey Jr. or whoever, they, they all say this, you know, it just, it's for them to get more money so that they can come back, all right? So don't worry, Tom Holland's not going anywhere. I don't think any of the creatives behind these Spider-Man films are going anywhere, except maybe John Watts, the director. He's moving on to make the Fantastic Four films, which I'm very excited to see. But Spider-Man, Tom Holland, he's not going anywhere. I just wanna see that brand new suit that he has at the end of the movie. I wanna get an HD look at it because we didn't get a crisp enough look at it in the film. It was just kind of obscured most of the time. He's swinging really fast. I wanna see it head on, put it in Spider-Man Remastered. How about it, Insomniac? And with all that being said, well, now I wanna kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you think about Spider-Man No Way Home and that post credit scene? What do you think it sets up? And where do you think that we're gonna be going from here? I wanna hear everything that you guys have to say in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it, I'm Caboose. And you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later